It's noon, so it's time for your daily dose of Batman. Click the bell to be in touch for our daily rendezvous. Greeting bad boys and bad girls. This is Batman hosting the show. I hope you are doing well. This is the beginning of a new format where I will take one of my best clips from my previous stream on Twitch. Check Batman underscore TTV on Twitch. And I comment it with my French cute accent. So let's not waste any time and let's crack straight into it. Today is the time for the ELC Event 90, perhaps the lightest tank in the game. It has one of the best, if not the best amount of dissimulation in the game. This is a T8 French premium light tank that you can purchase on the premium shop for each 23 euros in the Wargaming portal. I mean, look at those insane spotting statistics. And I didn't even equip it with enhanced equipment. Just standard optics, standard improved ventilation and commander vision system. The commander vision system allows you to see 20 more percent through the bushes. Doesn't matter if the enemy vehicle is moving or static. As you can see, 950 in the simulation. And I am pretty sure it can go up to 1000 with a low nose exhaust system. This is ridiculously high. And you know what? I think the replay will speak for itself. So let's crack straight into it. And we're back on the battle. So as you can see, I spawned on the north, in the north side. So my main goal is to take the E1 position, which is over here, this position over here. There is a bush that is very powerful to be in when you are a scout, especially when you are in ALC even 90. So one of my biggest threats is the enemy scout, which is the T92. And I really don't want to be spotted when I take this position. So I have to be very careful. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I can take my position pretty easily. The T92 is not annoying me at all. Let's see what... Oh, I, here he is. Okay, so he can't spot me. He can't spot me at all. I am in the bush. He is 200 meters away, so I'm pretty safe from him. But if I want to do any moves, I need him to die. Otherwise, I can't move and I can't spot the enemy team further in the south. So, as you can see, I can shoot. There's heavy tanks, but I choose not to because I don't want to compromise my position, so I stay here. It doesn't matter if I'm moving or static because uh, my coefficient of uh, my, my camouflage rate does not change with a light tank. If I'm moving off here or if I'm static, so I can move or I can be static, it doesn't matter. If you play anything else than a light tanks, it's not the same when you are moving your coefficient your your cam your, your dissimulation rate will drop especially if you're playing a tank destroyer or, or heavy tank so as you can see my 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 team is working to to kill this t92 but it's not as oh 400 this is good thanks cop so I tried to take the shot, but I'm compromising my position. But as you can see, I'm not even spotted, which is insane. I was thinking that I will be spotted if, if I shoot. And I, as you can see, the T92 is going away with his heavy tank. Look at the maxi map. So I decide to push further into the bushes and I'm spotting SU-152, which is very good. But it's not enough for me. So already 2000 spotting damage, which is good, which is very good for now. But I want more. I want I want a lot more. So I'm deciding to push further more. So as you can see, the T92 is over here into the city, so it's not annoying me at all. And I'm also spotting the enemy light, the enemy heavy tank. But I'm not the only one. So the the spotting damage are a split with my allies, which is not a problem for me. I just want to spot the enemy guys, the tank destroyer, and the camp bushes in front of me. As you can see, I can shoot, but I choose not to. But I think if I shoot the enemy tank, the IS or the AMX M445 will not spot me. But if they do not spot me, I think these guys over here would. So I choose not to shoot anyway. Oh, they have no idea. They have absolutely no idea I'm, I'm seeing them. It's, it's insane. I would like to be, to see their pov like clueless idea of there is... A, 
a light tank on their left just looking at them they are they are perma spotted they have no idea they have absolutely no idea no clue so i'm just saying i decide to push a little bit more okay this was a blind i think from my allies yeah so I'm talking the chat, you can see, I, I'm talking to my allies, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm saying them, please come to me to be sure that you can see what I'm spotting. Because if my allies are too far away from the enemy, they wouldn't even see him, even if I spot them. I think it's like 560 meters or, th or something like that. So I'm just approaching slowly. I think I will see something. I'm just 2,300 spotting damage, which is not enough at all. Come on, come on, little guy. Come on, little guy. As you can see, I, I'm, I'm very careful. I don't want to, to compromise my position, so I'm staying in the bush. I stay in the bush. I don't want to, to overpick out of the bushes, so I, I'm staying inside the line of bushes. Oh, Scorpion G! This is bad for him. This is very bad for him. As you can see. So I'm taking still a, a little bit of potting damage on the heavy tank. Oh, shout is spotted. The Scorpion G is not dead as you can see because my enemy, my, my allies are, are just too far away from him. But not for the chariot. But goodbye, mister. Goodbye, sir. You served well, your team. I mean, not really, but anyway. I'm still saying this, dude. This is insane. Ooh, and the scorpion is going away. I think he will escape. I think he will escape. Okay, so I decided to I, I decided to push a little bit. A little bit more. What do I do against the scorpion? I want to take the shot, so I'm taking the shot. I'm... I want to see if I'm spotted or not, but the shell velocity is not going in my advantage. I think the shells are very slow, like 9, ooh, 7 and 60 meters per second. So I'm spotting a KV4 KTTS. And I'm just praying for my enemy, for my team to, to kill him as soon as possible. I don't want to take the shot because I don't want to be spotted by the KV4 and to be just shredded by the Scorpion G further on my left so i'm just waiting for my team to kill him which is going great from now i have 5000 spotting damage which is great i'm really happy with my result right now but it's still not enough so i, I decide to as you can see we completely lose the hillside the enemy just pushes away to our base so i decide to come back to my team and to help them by spotting all i think there is four five maybe six guys on the rail and as you can see someone is is capping our base and no one is spotting so it's my job to do it so i am coming i don't want to be spotted i i never been spotted from the game right now and i don't want to be spotted right now so let's see what happened okay i'm spotting the tiger p he's dead now which is good thanks to me i don't know if it's me but the super cat is spotted and this is me the t20 is spotted but i don't see the enemy on the base I don't see the enemy on the base, so I'm hoping my allies will kill this T20 pretty soon. I'm spotting, as you can see, Projecto, IS, Scorpion G, the Scorpion G that flew away earlier in the game. Projecto is taking well for the team, T20, OC. oh, and here we go, T26, E4, super patient. He's the one who's capping the base, okay, so this is good, 400 more spotting damage on the base. I'm already at 7,000, which is good. Another one, full life! What will happen? Yes, he's taking one for the team, I think. Oh my god, on the super passion, that was good. The Projecto 46 is in a hold on position. I don't know what this guy doing, but he's like, I don't know, maybe he's blinding me into a bush. Maybe he thinks I'm spotting him right now and he tries to, to shoot me in a bush, but unfortunately he cannot do that. Well, now he's dead, I have maybe like 1,500 spawning damage on him, which is very good. I'm already at almost 10k. So I'm happy with my result. I'm pretty sure we will win this game right now.
I don't want to push because if the Pogetto unload his clip on me and I take a shot from the Scorpion, I'm pretty sure dead and I don't want... My, my goal is, is I don't want to be spotted off the game. I want to have the 10k without even being spotted off the game. I'm assuming that the Pogetto is still over here because if he wants to, f to go away, I will see him. So I think he's still over here in the hole. So I decide to do a little flank. As you can see, our team is capping the enemy base, which is good to make a little bit of pressure. I want to see the... I want to intercept... I want to intercept the guys that will maybe decap the enemy base. So, I'm seeing that the Pogetto is not here anymore, so he managed to go away. I don't know how, but here he is. Pogetto 46, here he is. I want to take this shot. I want to have some damage too. Let's go. I think it took one for the team, but I'm not sure. No. Yes, he did. Yes, he did, actually. Okay, so it's not my spot. So I'm trying to... So, very good. 9,807 spotting damage and now let's see the result of the battle we meet a game on the other side so as you can see 10k spotting damage so i'm i'm pretty happy with my results so ice tanker patrol duty pretty good game i have also one kill which is which is not uh, not, not nothing uh first of my team obviously 1596 uh base experience which is pretty good pretty good so i was looking to do with my uh and i also applied my uh three time uh experience multiplicator to get to twenty thousand experience so as you can see if you are struggling with uh i don't know any light tank on this map try this position and try this technique it's working pretty damn well for me since the beginning of the game this is the beginning of a new format i hope you're liking it and i have another one coming pretty soon but i need you guys to share me your own replays and i will comment them and post them on this youtube channel it can be either a good game you did uh, so you have to get to give me a little explanation on what you are trying to do uh, a little bit of context either um, a game you lose but you were looking for some advice to do better in the similar situation. See you tomorrow for a daily rendezvous at noon with Batman. And who knows, maybe you will destroy me on the battlefield.